Well, so yeah. yes, that was the visual of the, of the meat. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering who's the guy behind it, because the name is Deems the Meat Guy. Yeah. And we have the guy right now here in the studio with us. Dimas, Hello. Dimas the Meat Guy. Oh, hi. Wow. Good morning, Dimas. Good morning. How thank are you? Thank you for joining us. Good. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much <laughs> for so joining much. us. Uh, thank you. This thank beautiful you for morning. Me. Yes. Well, I mean, after seeing those clips, and I have, I've personally been there, Sesco, yes, and I would good. say it is as majestic and as um, pristine, and, and the flavors are incredible. So, um, you know, it's really great to have you here, and we can't wait to chat more with you. Um, but first of all, what's really interesting is that your name is The Meat Guy. Um, tell us a bit more about how that came to be in the first place. Yeah, uh, so I accidentally uh, uploaded my first videos in my social media, which is uh, the dry age method in cooking steak. So dredge method is basically uh, a method that uh, using a, a very cold chamber and there's a humid inside. So when I do that and I, I put it my meat for 30 days mm -hmm. and then upload it in my social media, it went viral. So uh, I when, think... When was that? Uh, 2020. 2020. Yeah. During COVID. During COVID. Yeah. Wow. Back then, I was uh, crazy about beef and cook every day. Like every day, doing uh, doing shopping because you can, you cannot go anywhere, right? So, yeah. When I upload that uh, video, people mm -hmm. start wondering why the heck you uh, have to put your beef days, three days. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. In your chiller. So, yeah, that's my turning point. Okay, okay. Become the, the meat guy. Okay. Well, yeah, we know here in Indonesia that you are, uh, maybe we know you as a cook and as a chef yeah. because of your content and uh, social media platforms. But are you a cook or a chef? And I mean, tell us more about your background because we know you from social media and then we know you have this restaurant chain, the meat guy, but maybe our viewers. Uh, outside foreigners doesn't know you well that well. So can you tell us about your background more? Yes. So I am an accountant uh, bachelor. Oh, well, that's a that's a surprising an thing. Yeah, okay. accountant. Huh. Okay. So that's where I get my cooking experience. So okay. while I am studying my uh, accountant uh, bachelor, I get to have the experience working in, in a restaurant back then. Mm. as a accountant but uh, the more I I get to know about the business of the restaurant or restaurant business I'm keen to learn more about the industry so okay. the service the uh, the purchasing things and then the cook the cooking things so mm. I had a chance uh, to work for almost one year in a Italian restaurant mm -hmm. and then I had to learn everything about the F&B industry especially how to run a restaurant there mm -hmm. so I switched from the counting uh, activities yeah. uh, every day I cook and I clean almost everything in the restaurant wow. I learned from A to Z and then, but, but before I cook I learned to wash and yeah, kind of that's right. okay, okay. then yeah. cooking. Where was that? Uh, in a Italian restaurant, I had a experience in Germany, student okay. exchange. In Germany? Yeah, student wow. exchange. In what year? Uh, 2014. Okay, okay. Yeah. so it was a long time. Okay, okay. So you went to student exchange in Germany, Yeah. and then you decided to for, yeah, yeah, start working in a restaurant in Germany. Yeah, at first uh, I worked as the accountant, but uh, later on I it became uh, uh, what do you call it? It's a bit bored, but okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I uh, grew my interest in cooking when I start uh, jumping in the mm -hmm. industry, like mm -hmm. literally working mm -hmm. there as a cook. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. I want to uh, make things straight first. Oh, yeah. what, what 
I mean, an accountant working in a restaurant, what, what, is, he, what is he thinking there? I mean, you're, you're looking for an extra cash or uh, what? No. So my boss uh, challenged me okay. to do more okay. mm. and encouraged me. Uh, so someday if you work uh, again in a company, I, I guess you never uh, going back again to your regular uh, activity like mm. uh, the accounting activities. Mm -hmm. Uh, so my boss said that I think uh, you'll be better uh, running a restaurant someday if you had mm. a chance. So I get to learn everything from my boss and then he challenged me to start uh, doing something besides the okay, accounting, accounting thing. thing. Mm. Okay, okay. So I get a chance to learn more about the, the business mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, uh, I start to love. To love the industry, which is the F and B. So yeah, I said, yeah, all right. I I get it uh, to learn the the basic things, the preparing mm -hmm. things, and then you you have to do shopping. You have to know the ingredients, mm -hmm. uh, and then when you can solve the problem uh, in the kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, I get the sense that it's uh, the excitement, mm -hmm. yeah, the challenges. I love I love challenge. Mm. Yeah, when I when I have the the challenge and I can solve it, makes me happy. It's fulfilling, yeah. yeah. yeah it's for, so mm, fulfilling. Most yeah. definitely yeah. fulfilling. And so it was like a blessing, yeah, blessing in disguise, I think. Yeah. You, you to know the industry more, be, uh, yeah, yeah. Because of your boss asked you to do it. Yeah. yeah. At first, uh, it just it's it's just work, normal mm -hmm. work, but it became a hobby. Mm -hmm. When I go back to Indonesia and then I start cooking like almost every day for mm -hmm. my family. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any F&B or family uh, background in culinary, but uh, I can say I am independently start starting to love uh, cooking by myself mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of my previous work. Mm -hmm. After that, not so long ago, I started to love beef mm -hmm. uh, because I cannot find a really good meat here okay, okay. in Indonesia mm -hmm. and it's hard to find uh, the right tools okay. at mm. first mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. At first. Yeah. The first so, time you yeah. went back here in Indonesia. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, okay. So, so that's the first thing mm -hmm. that I can tell uh, uh, to myself. I think you have to learn more about mm -hmm. this meat mm -hmm. industry. So, yeah. so okay, let me... Uh, like uh, range it. So in 2014, it was starting. Start, you starting to start uh, working working as a cook. in the Casa Cook. Yeah. And then you went back here in uh, what year? 2015. 2015. Okay. As a uh, just as a hobby. Grew, yeah, hobby. Mm -hmm, as a hobby. Cooking. Hobby not not working mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. uh, I also work in a bank before, mm -hmm. and yeah, you don't have enough time to cook. Okay. okay. Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, so it's just a hobby, but. Eventually, uh, it grew my interest in meat because, yeah, I cannot get a good meat yeah, here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I cannot cook steak properly. Mm -hmm. Without so, good meat. Yeah. 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 So why, why meat? Why, why beef? Uh, because it challenged me uh, so much mm -hmm. to know more about the exquisite, the unique of beef. How to uh, ex execute it well, uh, you cannot just have beef and a pan and then just start cooking. Mm -hmm. But when I learned so much about the history, about the gene of the cow, then you start to know uh, what type of beef uh, you can have uh, to cook a good steak. Mm. Okay. So it all started when uh, 2019. Mm. Uh, near the near the COVID era yeah. when 2020 uh, yeah. strikes, mm -hmm. yeah, and then I had uh, more time uh, to explore about this uh, meat industry mm -hmm. because I get to learn from night, not from morning, from night till morning. I cannot sleep because uh, I always thinking uh, in my mind how to done it properly okay. mm. uh, to cook a steak yeah. because. Yeah. I failed a lot. I cannot cook the steak mm. uh, properly, so 
uh, I studied uh, almost every day and then every time I woke up I start immediately run to the nearest grocery store mm -hmm. and then buy yeah. some good beef and then start cooking like mm -hmm. almost every day almost, almost every, every day when COVID okay okay wow. yeah then COVID almost every day yeah shop and cook because That's you will work from home yeah okay okay yeah mm -hmm. yeah this was during lockdown too in which nobody was going out so yeah correct. you must have had a lot of time to develop your your skills a lot of time yeah, yeah. <laughs> so wow. you study by yourself or you call someone or master to teach you uh I watch a lot of uh, cooking videos, especially mm -hmm. steak videos, uh, and I love to read. Mm. I read all the article about uh, beef. That's your really? accountant side. Yeah? That's your accountant yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. Love to read. Okay, love to it's analyze. Very analytical. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, about yeah. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some math also in it. Yeah, you have to calculate the temperature of the oh, beef. I see, yeah. I see. And how long uh, you're gonna cook your beef based mm -hmm. on the thickness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different thickness, different uh, timing. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's so why I have to it's master so complex. it. Yeah. It's so complex. Yeah, it's like cracking a code, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wow. so fun. Huh, that's, that, that's so interesting. And, and, and I love that, you know, your, your passion is yeah. then, you know, realized <laughs> in, in real actions and like, you know, the way you, you've pursued this for, for a long time. Um, who are some of the people who inspired you? when you first began learning about the steak or the meat world? Yeah, I can say uh, it was my boss on my previous mm -hmm. job, which okay. is the, the boss where I get to work in an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he taught me so much. Uh, he tells me everything because uh, right now when I am running my own steakhouse, mm -hmm. uh, I get to know how things done uh, from uh, like the cleaning side, the janitor side, the dish uh, washer side, you have mm. to uh, have this, these tools and the technique and then you have to clean like, uh, all right, uh, one plate, 10 seconds max or, or the over plate max huh. 15 seconds. Wow. Because you have to uh, uh, battle with time yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're in a rush in a restaurant. So There's yeah. no time to to think, to talk, yes, then right. you have to yeah, yeah. just focus. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was a time to clean the dish? Like, what you said, 10 yeah. seconds? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when you are in a station, in the, in the kitchen, mm -hmm. there's a, uh, you call it the steward. Steward, oh. uh, the one who cleans all the plates, mm -hmm. uh, the, the fork, the knife. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always uh, an uh, SOP, a mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. maximum. Mm -hmm to clean one uh, plate. Yeah, yeah. So 10 seconds. Uh, max. 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 Seconds, max. Wow. wow. So it, it's like a pit stop from a F1 yeah, uh, team, yeah, actually. Like F1 yeah. racing, like you yeah. had to like change the tires. For, yeah, like, it's so fast, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because Under we have seconds. to calculate uh, our packs mm -hmm. uh, at that time, at mm -hmm. the moment, because we have not so much plate mm -hmm. also, uh, because too much plate uh, costs you a lot. A lot of space, yeah. A lot also of, look. yeah, uh, space and also uh, money. money. Of course. That's why we have to uh, more efficient mm -hmm. and effective mm -hmm. in uh, our process. That's why in a F&B industry, especially in a restaurant, everything must be fast, fast, okay. fast and yeah. focused. Speed. Speed. Yeah. Yeah. Speed, right. yeah. It's all about that, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the most important thing that my boss taught me. Hmm. Yeah. And when I go back here, I have to adjust. That's why I have to teach each okay. of every one of my staff. Mm -hmm. Speed is important. Mm -hmm. It's and our of culture course, now. And of course, the cleanliness of the result. Yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. yeah. After that, you know, you know the best, the, the basic, the, 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 it's only cleaning, but it's important. Then you get to know the cook. Mm -hmm. Before you cooking, you get to know the uh, cleaning first. Yeah. Mm. Of course, right now. Okay, so you, you are an influencer and also you <coughs> are a restaurant owner. Uh, yeah. What comes first actually in, in the life of Teams the Media? Influencer. Influencer, influencer first. Influencer and content creator. Content, content creator. creator. Yeah. So oh. uh, before I became a content creator, I, uh, I've worked in the bank. Mm. And after that, 
I run my own uh, agency. I have a uh, social media agency. Okay. Oh. Uh, only last three years, I guess, because uh, COVID strikes and then mm -hmm. try to work from home. But so the agency starts in 2020? 2017, COVID. actually. Oh, 2017. Okay, okay. Right. Only last three years mm -hmm. and then 2020, yeah. COVID when strikes. COVID oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So work from home uh, doesn't really help. But when I see the opportunity in the content creating world, uh, I get to see uh, the the loophole where mm -hmm. this niche topic, mm -hmm. which is the meat mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. is not uh, so often talked about in here. Mm -hmm. So that's why I enter the the niche market, mm -hmm. which is the meat world. So I became the meat guy, mm -hmm. and then in yeah, in a few in a few years, people became uh, known me as the Dims the Meat guy yeah. because of the branding. Because, you know what? Because what's funny is I know him, Dims yeah. the Meat guy, mm -hmm. from my son, really? from my fourteen-year-old son. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Uh, he told me, uh, "Father, there's this guy that can cook uh, good meat, and let's go there." But until the, today, I haven't been uh, to your restaurant. Maybe oh, after yes. this, maybe <laughs> after this, <laughs> after this. Next yeah, time. you I must, have, I must go. Yeah, yes. I must go. Yeah. Audrey yeah. has. I've been already gone twice. It's twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. and it's um, it's you have to go. Yeah, yeah okay. after this. Yeah. Um, and you you know I I think it's it's quite um intriguing of how uh you know even in a couple of years starting from 2020 mm -hmm. now it's 2024 you've built two restaurants congratulations yeah. um and yeah, thank you. you know the the I would say the 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 career path of, of how yeah. you've started from content until now has just continued to gone upwards. What do you think um, in, the, in the beginning, and, and I wonder if it's, it's also because you have a social media marketing agency background, yeah. that you've kind of cracked the code to make yeah. a content that people would want to consume and also um, they would be able to follow along with your brand. What's you know, what was your strategy when you, when you first started that you've been able to achieve such huge success in a short period of time? Yeah, so if I can see there's a red line uh, from my first, uh, very first background, which is the accounting uh, mm -hmm. background. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I get to know the, the numbers. Uh, also, I get the chance to know the business of the uh, restaurant back then. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, I learned how to cook and how to operate the business uh, in 2014. So, uh, when I started my agency, I also have uh, learned a new experience, a new, uh, what do you call it, uh, marketing strategies okay. hmm. and how to, how to overcome your uh, resource. So, I have these resources, uh, accounting background, yeah. uh, cooking, and then also marketing sites. Yeah. And then when I became Dim's the Meat Guy accidentally, I think that if I have enough, uh, uh, not followers, but I get to say my uh, fans. Mm -hmm. Because if you have uh, followers, they don't really know you as uh, your your brand. Mm -hmm. They just know you as a social media mm -hmm. persona. But yeah. if you have a brand, then you build your market, your own market. Then uh, you get to know where is the right time to execute the the business proposal, which mm -hmm. is this restaurant business. Yeah. <clears throat> At first, I don't think to open any restaurant when I starting this uh, content world, but in 2021, uh, so many people want to try my steak and mm. I get to test it uh, through DMs, through comment. I get to see if they're, uh, they're willing to uh, uh, try my steak while they are uh, living in uh, Bali, Sumatra, oh, Kalimantan, wow. because right now uh, I'm in Bintaro, Tangerang, yeah. which is uh, Java Island, but they are willing to fly just to try my steaks. Really? Wow. Yeah, I get to wow. test it before I opening my steakhouse. Oh, yeah. uh, 
They came, uh, they came to you. They came to your house. Came to my house. Came wow. to my house just just to try my steak. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, it took me a while to get this data that where uh, many people want to try uh, my steak if mm -hmm. I open my mm -hmm. own uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I decided at 2022, I opening uh, opened my very own. Yeah. Steakhouse in the Bintang. first one in Bintaro. Wow. The first one, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, it did really well. I mean, you have a second one now. Yeah, uh, it was great because uh, so many people around the uh, around the nations and also international uh, guests mm -hmm. keep coming mm. to Bintaro. It's a very mm. small suburb area, and there's a yeah, steakhouse, my steakhouse, and then someone came from. Singapore and uh, Thailand and then Korea. Wow. And there's some I mean, all guy places from around the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the funny part is this uh, Korean guy, they they uh, always flew from Korea and then uh, going places to do holiday but when they stop in Jakarta So they regularly go to your regularly restaurant. monthly going oh my to God. my steakhouse and wow. everyone uh, in uh, Meat Guy Steakhouse, uh, the staffs already knew this guy this and then guy. this guy must uh, tell our staff, I don't want to see your menu again, just mm -hmm. bring your best menu, yeah. Wow. Every okay. time uh, they go to my steak, mm -hmm. crazy. He just <laughs> trusts you fully that it's going to be exceptional. Yeah, not just me but my staff. Mm. Yeah. Even my security, because my security is uh, uh, basically the, the funniest and uh, the most nicest person in my uh, steakhouse. Mm -hmm. So many p people get to know him personally. Okay. Mm. okay. And he also knows about uh, the beef. All of my staff knows very well about beef. So okay. everyone mm. can recommend can uh, discuss about beef, so later on they can come and have the recommendation from them. Wow. Yeah, so what, what, yeah, what I can um, conclude maybe that yeah. about you is that you, st you actually have a different background, not in the food background, but you studied a long time about the restaurant and then you made videos about it and then you made the first restaurant in Bintaro, which I know actually because uh, oftenly, I pass through your restaurant ah, actually, yeah. but I haven't had the uh, time to went there to yeah. go there. But it was actually yeah, it's a small restaurant, right? Yeah. It's a small it's restaurant, small. but it's uh, literally packed. Like maybe yeah. every weekend, if I went there, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. literally it's packed. Yeah. It's a yeah. powerhouse, and now you have the other one in in Sudirman, yeah, in, yeah, in CBD, CBD. CBD, and that was like. The grand, the grande, yeah. the grande restaurant, uh, luxurious, luxurious, uh, yeah, beautiful version. architecture. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I might add, and mm. not only that, you also source meat, right? Like, yeah, source my own meat now. Yeah, that's, okay. Tell us about that. Yeah. That's yeah. so interesting. You have to like tell us how do yeah. you source your own meat? I see that you've gone on excursions to so many places. Uh, yeah, so uh, for Dim's the Meat Guy, I have my personal campaign which is uh, called the Meat Exploration. Okay. So I explore uh, some of the countries that have the, the best beef in the world, such as Japan, Australia, mm -hmm. US, even Korea. Mm -hmm. They have Hanwu now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, last year, I get a chance to visit Australia in Sydney. And then I, uh, I met many, many farmers there mm. that give their heart to uh, raise the cow, the cattle. Mm. And then I started to realize, wow, there's so many potential here mm -hmm. that, uh, that we, we still doesn't have mm. now in Indonesia. Mm. So I built uh, my connection, built my relationship for the whole year till now, mm -hmm. I, uh, I get to visit them again, uh, I think three months ago. So I did exclusive partner with one of the best 
I can say the the grand champion mm. of Wagyu farm wow. in New South Wales called mm. Stonex Farm. Wow. Stonex. That's where I get my mm -hmm. meat now in mm -hmm. my steakhouse. Mm -hmm. So their source, uh, their their source, uh, full blood Wagyu gene, which is uh, the the purest uh, thing uh, on earth, which is Wagyu blood, 100% mm -hmm. with 100% Wagyu uh, breed. Never, never been crossbred. Yeah, okay, they're okay. fully wow, that's full blood wow. breed. Yeah. Full blood breed. So like the real highest Wagyu, quality. yeah, the highest quality of uh, the highest Wagyu quality beef. Wagyu with yeah. the the climate and the dietary from Australia. Mm -hmm. mm, and you know, Dimas, unfortunately, <coughs> we only have uh, one question, which yeah. uh, it, this conversation could truly go anywhere because you know it, this is such a wonderful topic, and in you are such a great uh, character that we want to explore more. From your excursions, from you know the things that you've learned, um, the lessons that, that you've acquired over the years, what is something that you want to bring, especially for young Indonesians yeah. or people who want to follow in your footsteps and mm -hmm. what message do you want to convey to them? Because I heard that you're also really passionate about yeah. educating people. So what would you like to say? Uh, patience overcome everything. When you have patience, it will be all possible. There's nothing impossible because right now, I uh, still can't believe I, I became the, the brand ambassador of an international brand called the Dry Ager from Germany, which mm. is a uh, yeah, very big brand. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, there's nothing impossible when you have the passion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nothing impossible when you have the passion. Yeah, okay. and you have to you fight for it, you know. What, what I like about Dimas is you fight for it. Like, you're not from the background, but you study about it, yeah. and then you calculate all yeah. about it, mm -hmm. and then you make the uh, marketing strategies, yeah. and then you build the restaurant, and you can, like, cultivate what you've done. Correct, yeah. and don't forget about the dedication ah. and the discipline. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest thing. Yeah, yeah. Dedication that's right. and discipline. That's the hardest thing. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It's a little bit. If you can uh, accommodate it, it will become uh, easy. Yeah. 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 Well, look so easy actually. Maybe. Look easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Definitely yeah. look easy. easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, At first, mm -hmm. uh, it must be hard, but mm -hmm. when it become yeah, your regular mm -hmm. because you're disciplined, mm -hmm. it become more easier. Easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, That's right. thank you so much, thank you very much Dimas. Dimas. I'm the one Dimas, the you. meat guy, <laughs> thank for joining you, us <laughs> today you, in our studio has been such a thoughtful and, and, and inspiring conversation. Right. Um, and where can we find you, Dimas? Um, yeah, your social media. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I'm always in my steakhouse. Okay. Oh, steakhouse. Always in your steakhouse. Mm. Yeah, but currently I'm uh, staying in my uh, newest branch. In SCBD. In SCBD. Please, uh, please me in SCBD. And also in a social media yeah, channel. What's, what's the handle of yes. your social media? Uh, Deems the Meat Guy. Deems the Meat YouTube, Guy. YouTube, TikTok, guy. Instagram. All media platforms. All media Everywhere. platforms. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, it's been so great talking with you, and we can't wait to see what else to come from you soon. From yes. Deems the Meat Guy. From Deems the Meat Guy. <laughs> well, I think that's all for today's edition of Starting Point. We conclude this uh, show today with uh, talking with a brilliant uh, figure from Indonesia, Deems the Meat Guy. And I'm Sesko Satrio. I'm Audrey Toyo. And have a great week, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.